Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Clash of Clans. This is your host AJ Gaming and we are talking about the October update which will be coming out very soon. I believe it's going to come out as early as next week. But I'm just going to have a bit of a discussion about it just in case no one here has actually known what's going on. So let's get straight into it. So firstly, I'm just going to mention the few things I'm looking forward to the most with this update. And the number one is the extra free slots for your training army. I think that is so good. I'm really, really, really looking forward to that. The next thing is the Royal Ghost Troop, which is the Halloween troop. That is so cool. And look at that. Defenses can't touch that troop for 12 seconds and can go through walls. That is absolutely crazy. I can't wait to try it out. It's really going to help everyone out with their funneling. I'm expecting a lot of free stars with that troop. And I know for sure it won't be used in the World Championships. And of course, because Global Chat is finally gone, they have a new recruitment tool which you can only choose free and then you can try to get into any clan with possible people can recruit you from other clans now instead of having to leave a clan so that's really good there's a few options there which you can pick depends on your personality of your player and what the type of clan is looking for i think there could have been a few more options maybe one who likes to be looking for romance or trying to steal someone's account you know you can put all those options up there Unfortunately, you cannot do that anymore because global chat is gone. So maybe these people will move on to Discord. But again, I think it's a great idea to get rid of global and adding a new recruitment tool because this would be really good as a leader of a clan myself. I can put down free options that we're looking for people so we don't always have to explain the clan rules when people want to join. Now all the changes in this update will do nothing to change the meta of attacks. So most of it will be underground stuff behind the scenes which is going to help when they release a massive update in December. What can that be? Time will tell. But let's have a look at everything else that Clash of Clans will be getting with this October update. So there will be a Legend League base cooldown. So if anyone is a base builder you would know you only have you, once you change something, you have a 24 hour time limit, which doesn't really help in Legends, especially if you happen to change something for the next day, then you have to wait another day. So they've tried to change that, which I absolutely love. This is great because once I get back to Legends again, then I can do minor changes to my base and hopefully that can help me win a few more defenses or not lose as many trophies. Um, there will be builder base changes, which I don't really do builder base. I'm currently doing it now because my town of 12 is maxed, but a few changes there. So they'll be resetting the trophies from 5,000 now instead of 4,000. So that's great for anyone that is part of builder base and loves that monthly grind of builder base. Um, there'll be new changes to the Titan League. So to reduce the clouds, which has been absolutely awesome the last couple months with Operation Blue Sky, so they'll be changing the guard length, so it'll be decreased the higher trophies you've got, so from Titan 2 to Titan 1, which means more bases will be available for you to attack. I think that's great, especially if you're trying to push back up into Legends. It'll definitely help you out, and you don't have to waste as many time waiting for an attack. There'll be a few visual changes, which you probably won't even see to eye, maybe with some of the skins with the 3D rendering that Supercell have done a couple months ago. So you might be able to see little things there. They did mention that in Christmas, there's going to be a massive update. What it is, again, we're not sure. Could it be Town Hall 13? Possibly. Only time will tell. I'm definitely looking forward to that. And again, this update has got nothing to do with changing the meta of the game. Why? Because they don't want to change anything at the World Championships, especially with only 10 days to go. So I'm assuming because of this, the update will come out next week because of, of what they've mentioned about they don't want to mess up the World Championships. If they released it after the World Championships, they could have actually done a few changes towards defenses or any type of change they need to do for troops, any buffs or nerfs or anything like that. So that pretty much tells me that this update will come out next week. You might not be able to see too much differences, but I'm definitely really looking forward to it. What do you guys think about what you know so far? Do you like the new changes? Do you like that Global's gone? I, again, as I said, I am for one, I'm definitely glad that Global's gone. 
and I'm looking forward to this new recruitment tool again as a leader of a clan. So if you're a leader of your clan, let me know. Do you guys like this new tool? And with all the options that will be available, what type of player do you think you are? Definitely will be interesting to see what people choose. Hopefully there is, um, when it comes to choosing the free, you are pretty honest with what type of player you are. You will probably get found out anyways. If you're trying to join a clan and you put down you're a massive donator and you try to request to join a clan, we can look at your stats. And if you have only donated probably say a thousand troops and you're a max town on 12, that clearly shows that you are not a top donator. So hopefully no one tries to um, try to rig it or try to manipulate what they want to get into someone's clan. I don't think too many people will be like that, but you just never know. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I don't know what I'm going to put yet. Definitely not a base builder because I'm not good at doing base building. Probably top donator because I always love donating, even though I had 6,000 gems stolen from me a couple weeks ago. It still hasn't stopped me from uh, donating as much as I can to help my clan out and try to get back to level 10. And this is just a couple attacks from our war from last night. Unfortunately, we did not win. But some of the guys did, pulled in some really good attacks. I've decided to try Pekka Smash again. This is literally the first time I've tried it in months. So wasn't a, a max base. They did have some max defenses, but those walls are still Town Hall 9. So I was able to get through the base pretty easy. It is really a time consuming attack. So you really need to focus on when you want to drop the rest of your troops. But I did start the Queen Walk from the opposite side. Just I wanted to get rid of the enemy queen, draw out the clan castle, get rid of a couple of those multi infernos, get the king to clean up around the outside so I can get that pathing done so those peckers and bowlers can go straight towards the town hall. And it actually worked out pretty well for once, so I was pretty actually happy with this attack and how it went out. But again, if these walls were pretty maxed, it may have been a different story. But again, I'm just still learning Pekka Smash again. I'm looking forward to continue doing this and hopefully pushing up to Legends. Um, I do find Pekka Smash was one of the strongest ground attacks to do. Still not really good with my air game, but still practicing, still having fun with this game. Still got another couple months of waiting to update new stuff now that I'm a max 12. So it's given me a bit of time to have a bit of muck around with this. And also try to get my Town Hall 11 maxed as quickly as possible so I can take him to level uh, Town Hall 12. That will do for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you can, write down a comment in below. Like this video if you would like to. I just want to thank everyone for all the support so far. I hope everyone has a great day. And as always, happy clashing.